Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for July 8th, excuse me, to July 14th, uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump directly to, uh, to the reading. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for a Leo's week, this uh, or Leo week, that is going to be uh, the Two of Wands, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that Leo needs to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be uh, the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> then the third card that we do have for Leo, which stands for the positive aspect of their week, that is going to be the Nine of Cups. And then the last one here that stands for the guidance that uh, Leo is to uh, follow or rather like it's, uh, you know, it's um, advisable to kind of like execute or take um, a note of that is going to be the five of cups. Okay, so uh, once again, let's through, uh, let's run through the cards, guys. The first one, which is the topic is the two of wands followed by the second one which stands for the challenges here it is the ace of swords then what we do have it is the positive aspect that will be the nine of cups and then the last one uh it will be the guidance here and this is the five of uh, the five of cups all right so uh i have to be honest with you up until uh the the fourth card came out uh, this this reading could have been directed to uh, too many things, but the fact that the Five of Cups appear here as a guidance, it is most likely re related to the uh, momentum. Um, I don't know how to explain it really, but let's say a, a momentum of one being determined to be happy despite of that recently they didn't get what they wanted or recently that they didn't get what they have worked for. No different than, for example, if you um, are trying to be with someone, all right, and it, it just isn't working out. So it comes the day where you realize that, well, if it isn't working out with this one, then I'm just going to be determined to be happy, all right, and it's going to just make it with someone else. So it's like a uh, um, this momentum or determination, one not to give up, and to uh, if it doesn't work into one place, you know, or with a specific person, then um, D is to find a, a different approach upon the same matter, so to find the right measures, so can uh, find themselves either happy, lucrative, you know, or successful, or you name it. And that is the very topic here, which is the two of uh, wands. And uh, <clears throat> the two of wands in the grand scheme of things, it does represent how one is sitting on their uh, well-established achievements thus far as the man sits on the top of the uh, of the castle here either castle tower fortress you name it and one scopes the um, the landscape looking what is the next field that they are to conquer or into your case Leo looking up until a future opportunities were to come through which 
uh, you are to expand your skills, your knowledge, you know, your, your happiness as well, your lucrivity, you name it, it does depend what you are, uh, what you are after. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Cups and the formation that will be a active uh, <clears throat> enemies so basically what that formation here represents is that you are going to cut the bullshits basically you're going to cut the crap and stop believing into fairly fairy tales and foolish statements as well now uh, one thing uh, i want to say and uh, it's not necessarily true for these cards but the um the two of wands when reversed usually represents when one has a good intentions but actually lack the um, um the the proper convictions behind it and the proper determination so by you cutting out the crap all right with the six uh, of cups falling as an unactive enemy to the two of wands realizing what it takes you know that uh, like i like i said the example here realizing that maybe you are trying from uh, from the wrong angle here to push that project through or to be happy in general to be loved and uh, so on and so forth you are to open your eyes for more opportunities uh, or rather like more options available i would say than uh, you uh, before before entering into the week you have anticipating so um, that leads us to the next card here, guys, which uh, represents the um, the challenge, and that is going to be the Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords in this follow up have uh, a lot of um, a lot of manifestations. First of all, the Ace of it, and it does depend what kind of a, a direction you are deciding to move on. Is this the love field? You know, is is this the career field as well? But in in general aspect, the Ace of Swords here on a, a challenging position. It points that it's going to be challenging for you to um, take you or make use of your mental clarity and your spiritual strength as well, so you can place a. Um, on an accurate perception or obtain an accurate perception what the reality of the situation is on top of that the ace of um, the ace of swords may point that it's going to be difficult for you to obtain that either sudden or slowly emerging inside that comes around and finally the ace of swords may warn you here to be careful with your health so throughout this week is advisable not to take a participation in any risky i don't know activities like for example skiing you know any kind of like extreme sports as well just get e just be easy on yourself okay do not push way too hard because uh, in a challenging position sometimes the ace of swords may point that you are um over stressing you know your body with uh, with some activities the accompanied card here is to be the wheel of fortune and uh, the formation it is a uh, active uh, friends that we have so with the wheel of fortune here that tells us also addition to the story with the ace of swords and now we know the cause why you may have difficulty you know to uh obtain that not inside but let's say to take advantage of your mental and spiritual strength and that is because um <clears throat> as soon as you enter into the week uh there won't be uh either of those options available necessarily standing out for you so you are going to you at the start you are going to be a bit let's say baffled and a bit uh, reluctant you know which way you should proceed on forward uh, with uh, with your endeavors either career or relationship it could uh, represent for example that you do have two people that uh, they want to be with you you equally like both so you don't you you can't decide which one you want to be with all right and uh, that impacts you know your mental clarity which is the bet uh, the better one and as well the mental strength to uh stand out and just say to the one that you don't want to be with you know that you don't want to be with uh obviously so um yeah but I, it's uh you have to make a pure decision here with these couple of cards leo because uh the wheel of fortune it's a very powerful force and it does point a a moment of I would say change, but not necessarily the change that the death card is giving to one, where the death just comes and takes away. The um, <clears throat> the wheel of fortune represents change through addition, so uh, it's like 
you don't lose anything but because something new comes around you know you are to that is to change your environment instead of change through substitution or through a a, a, a destruction as well it's just um with the wheel of fortune it is more like a uh, building up kind of change than a, a change of, of of consistency so the next card that we do have is going to be uh, in regards to your uh, positive outlook for the week and that is going to be the nine of cups so nine of cups uh, points a few things as well the week is going to be extremely pleasant and that could be that is understandable quite a lot because you know as soon as you realize that you do have so much more options available to be happy lucrative you know or uh, in generally to be better and to expand on your skills knowledge and to build up on top of the foundations that you are stepping that is to create sensual joy and as well um, big exhilaration and content in you but also it will make you realize that achieving something you know it is only the first step of the whole endeavor afterward what comes is a um, how to sustain it so uh, simultaneously you are to make two plans here or you are going to at least start thinking of, you know, once you, for example, be with, uh, become a one with this person you want to be with, for example, or you start that job, what are going, going to be your next move in order to secure that position? So are two contiguous plans that are moving side by side with, uh, with one another, which is going to make you extremely prepared for the future. The accompanied card is going to be the Ace of Cups. The formation, it is a passive supporters here. And with that formation, uh, there are going to be a lot of pleasant surprises. Not necessarily very fortunate, not fortunate, but how do you say it? Um, fortunate from a standpoint that they're going to make a big change, you know, for your grand scheme. But uh, these pleasant surprises are going to uh, exert how can i describe it more con um, contentment all right and uh, as well emotional fulfillment from the fact that you're going to spend time with people that you like with people that you love for example you get to do what you like as well and you get to to have some of those uh, some um extraordinary experiences which are to overflow your heart with joy and that will transcend as well your reality additionally to these couple of cards uh, which are on a positive position uh, a resolution to a trifles could come around okay which uh, you uh, either you have neglected up until that point or you find it very comfortable very uncomfortable to uh, to address but now it seems that the uh the universe is aligning itself in such a way that now it's the time to resolve those small issues small plights that are only you know kind of like annoying you more than causing any setbacks and the last card here is going to be the five of cups so that is the guidance and the five of cups um as a guidance card it does point that despite that things aren't working out always you know that should not be a prerequisite what prerequisite one to give up so this is uh, the card that defines that you are going to have that momentum here which is provoked by either the denial of success you know or uh, being thrown away from a relationship or just some sort of a poignant situation which recently happened that instead of you know making you feel let's say helpless all right or in the in more extreme cases worthless as well it makes you more determined to uh, to prove to the people to the world and to yourself you know that you can be better you are better and you can achieve better despite the odds the accompanied card is going to be the um knight of wands here the formation it is a passive enemies that we do have so these cards are pointing that throughout the week uh, you will have to as well make up on your mind what kind of direction you want to move. Uh, as I said at the start, you're going to have a lot of options available and you may have difficulty to decide and that is okay, all right? Because the two of wands is not a card that urges you to make up your decision straight away. But <clears throat> by the end of the week, 
uh, you need to actually uh, make up uh, that decision, not with the snap of your fingers, but maybe through other liberation and maybe through a uh, research as well. Uh, what these cards, what these couple of cards are saying, however, it is not through experiments, okay? It's not like you will have the chance to, for example, start a relationship with one of the people, okay? And if you don't like it, you break it and then start it with the other one. It's more like you will have to make your homework before you decide which one you're gonna involve yourself with which job you should uh, proceed on from now on, which kind of career path as well you want to uh, you want to jump into, right? Or from which angle you are to approach your situation, either into your marriage or either into your career. But one is sure right now, Leo, it is that you do have a huge room of growth, okay? It's only the means uh, that you are using up until that moment are maybe a little bit inappropriate for the rapid expanse of, um, you know, of your deeds. So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 8th to July 14th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.